Hey, what's up? Want to learn how to program but don't know where to start? Or do you want to build a solid foundation of programming knowledge? Well, good news! This video series is for you. Hello, I am your teacher, Psychopath, but you can call me Psycho for short. To start, I will briefly discuss the videos in this course, and I will also talk about how to set up your programming and learning environment. Since this video series is the basics, I may cover things you already know, or you may have tools and knowledge that is different than what I am going to teach, and that is okay. I want to make sure that you know everything you need to in order to succeed. The first thing we'll cover is setting up your programming and learning environment. If you already have a setup, awesome, you can skip to the next section, but only if you like and subscribe to my channel. Now I'll be teaching these basics in Python, but don't let that deter you. All of these basics apply to most, if not all, programming languages. Even if you already have a language in mind, I suggest you go ahead and follow along and use Python for the series. You will quickly discover how much crossover knowledge there is. Most of the time it's just a syntax difference. The very first thing we'll do is install Python. I made a video, which you can see here. Just install Python and don't worry about installing Pygame or getting it to work with Sublime Text. And that's the next thing. For the series, you can use anything from Notepad to a full-fledged IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. But I'm going to be using Sublime Text 4, since it allows for a broad spectrum of programming languages, plus it is free, but of course I highly recommend buying it if you're going to keep using it. It can be evaluated for free, which is enough for this video series. You can install it using a link below in the description. Once you have both installed, let's set up our workspace. Since we're going to be coding, you will need to get familiar with the command line. Don't worry, it looks scarier than it really is. First, open up your file explorer, and then navigate to the root directory. In my case, it is C. And what you'll want to do is create a new folder. New folder, and I'm going to name it Projects, all lowercase. And we're going to go ahead and go into this folder. And there's nothing in there, obviously. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the command line interface, which is CLI for short. There are many ways to do this, but on Windows 10, you can simply type CMD in the search bar. There we go. Or you can press the Windows R button to open up the run command and type in CMD and press enter. I'm going to move this here and make it readable. Not that readable. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to type in CD backslash, and that puts us at the root. Then we're going to type in dir, and as you can see, it'll list all the files and folders that we have. And you can see the projects folder. So type in cd, which is change directory, and type in projects. If you type in dir, you're going to see nothing in there. So we're in the same, spe we're in the same spot on both locations. Next, we'll be working within Python. Type in Python at the command line. And then, as you can see, it says the Python and then the version. Next, type in exit and the parentheses. And that's how you get into and out of the Python interactive shell. Now, in your file browser, you're going to make a new document. In this case, they don't have a Python pre-made, so just, just select a text document and type intro.py and delete the old extension. And a warning box will come up if you change the extension, file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. Click yes. Uh, be sure, though, that you have view file extensions on. It says file name extensions. Make sure that's checked. Because otherwise, it'll be intro.py.txt, and that's not going to work. Now we're going to open it in our editor. In my case, I am using Sublime, and if you are too, but it is trying to use a different program, right-click and select Open With. It's going to ask, how do you want to open this file? Uh, click on More Apps and look for Sublime Text. I already have it selected. And then make sure the box is checked. Always use this app to open Pi files and click OK. And what this will do is it will open up a new window. OK, here's our first Python program. And type in print, parenthesis, and then a uh, single quote. You can also use double quote. I like single quote. Like and subscribe. And then you want to save it. Save. Now go back to your command line interface and type in dir. 
you should see the intro pi file in there. Easy, right? And as you can see, it says intro.py. And it doesn't say intro.py.txt. Now what you're going to do is type in python intro.py, and it says like and subscribe. Congratulations, you've made and run your very first Python program. You're ready for the next video. That's it for the introduction video. If you have any problems, leave a comment, or better yet, if you join the Discord, you can talk with the community directly. I have many tutorials on there, and I help people learn Python one-on-one. -on -one. All files for the series are in GitHub, and it's okay if you don't know how to use that yet, but for now, know that you can access all the files from there directly. All links are in the description. Thank you, and see you next video where I will talk about variables.